Hello, I'm Bob Moore with Supermicro. Today, during this Tech Talk, we're gonna be discussing the new Supermicro Hypersystem. And it's based on the new Intel fourth generation Xeon scalable processor. Fortunately, I'm joined today by Brandon Wong, who's a director of product management for this particular series of uh, products. And thanks, Brandon, for being here. Appreciate yeah. it so much. You know, this uh, Hypersystem, we actually have two here, the 2U and the 1U. They really are the flagship for our Supermicro Enterprise and HPC uh, workloads and environments, right? So uh, tell us what's new, unique, and a little different about these as opposed to previous generations. So in this generation, uh, we try to focus on maintaining that flexibility to handle a multitude of workloads, you know, from uh, compute intensive HPC workloads to storage intensive uh, data analytics workloads. Uh, take a look at this 2U Hyper here, for example, right? Uh, so this one can support, you know, configurations for high compute to 350 watt processors. But we also have storage configurations where you can uh, set this up to support up to 24 NVMe drives. Um, and then on top of that, we also have configurations that can support up to four PCIe accelerator cards. Uh, so a lot of power in just a, a single box here. Yeah, in fact, talking about those accelerator cards, Brandon, this actually does support the Flux GPUs as well as the Mac series CPUs, right? That's a new technology that's uh, great for Supermicro. Yeah, for sure. So if you're looking at the uh, Intel Flex series GPUs, uh, those are targeted in boosting uh, visual processing workloads from, you know, CDN, cloud gaming to VDI. Uh, and in our hyper systems here, uh, in a 1U system, we can support two of those flex GPUs. And in our 2U system, we can support up to four flex GPUs. So if you're looking to boost your HPC workloads, uh, we do support the Mac series CPUs. With the Mac series CPUs, you've got 64 gigabytes of memory right down on the processor. So that can unlock any types of memory bottlenecks uh, you know, those workloads may be able to see. Uh, with our hyper systems here, we support the full lineup of uh, Mac series CPUs from the air-cooled versions as well as the liquid-cooled versions. Nice. Okay, so that's a good segue because liquid cooling, you know, that green computing is really a hallmark of uh, Supermicro. And we're helping our customers to help reduce their carbon footprint by being more energy efficient all the time uh, and designing for higher thermal design points, 40 degrees C, you may want to talk about, but also liquid cooling. This can be liquid cooled. It helps lower the... Uh, noise level for these uh, systems as well as be more energy efficient. So how's that working out in the hyper system? Yeah, so, you know, we're seeing that, you know, processors are consuming more and more power. So it can be really challenging to, you know, cool the system down. But one of the ways to probably most efficiently cool down the system is through liquid cooling. Uh, so our hyper systems uh, fully support CPU liquid cooling. That way you can you know, run these system fans at uh, lower fan speeds, uh, and then overall power consumption uh, will be reduced significantly. Now, if the data center doesn't have the infrastructure to support liquid cooling, we still have options uh, for air cooling, uh, where we have configurations that can maximize the airflow going into the system. Uh, that way, the system can support an inlet temperature all the way up to 40 degrees C. So data center operators can, you know, save energy uh, by reducing the amount of air conditioning used in the data center. Really important because, uh, you know, liquid cooling is becoming more and more pervasive, but it's not everywhere. And so we still have to rely on air cooling and Supermicro helps our customers regardless of if they're gonna use liquid cooling or air cooling. Well, I think you've covered most of the technologies in here. Again, uh, 32 dims of memory and that kind of thing. And we're building in all sorts of security with our hardware root trust. And we've got manageability uh, features like our SuperCloud composers that are so uh, incredibly important for our customers as well. But we got something really new and unique this year that I'm really excited about. We've gotten a lot of great response from customers. And that's our Jumpstart program. And I know these because they're our flagship uh, products here for Enterprise and HPC are really part of that program, the Jumpstart. So tell us about how customers can get part of that, where they would go, and what the Jumpstart is. Yeah, so basically a uh, customer can just go to supermicro.com, uh, register for our Jumpstart program. That just gives you remote access to these systems here. Uh, they can basically try out different workloads, see what fits best for them, and then hopefully we can build something great together. Uh, it sounds super, and I know these are available now in volume. We'll get them in the Jumpstart program, so really great stuff here from Supermicro. We appreciate everyone watching. Hope this has been really educational for you, and Brandon, thanks so much for joining us. No problem. Learn more at www.supermicro.com.